The disaster in Flint started in April of 2014. Nearly seven years later, new charges have been brought against the top level of Michigan's government, including former Governor Rick Snyder. Mar McDonald live downtown. Mar, a lot of charges, over 40 filed, but most of the talk today has been about the Snyder charges, which are two misdemeanors. That's right, Devin, two misdemeanors for willful neglect of duty. And when we were in Flint today and talking to people, when they heard that they were misdemeanor charges, they really weren't too impressed. But I think the bigger question tonight is whether these two misdemeanors will actually end up being convictions because this is a rather high hill to climb. The final tally, 41 charges against nine state and city officials. Snyder may be the most high profile, but he was charged with the least compared to the other eight. When an entire city is victimized by the negligence and indifference of those in power, it deserves an uncompromising investigation. Here's who is really facing serious multiple felonies. Nick Lyon, former director of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Nine felony counts of involuntary manslaughter and two other misdemeanors. Lyon isn't in trouble for Flint's lead problems, but how the state handled a Legionnaire's outbreak in Flint, which may be tied to the water switch. Dr. Eden Wells, the former state chief medical executive, nine felony counts of involuntary manslaughter, also connected to Legionnaires, plus two felony counts of misconduct in public office and an additional misdemeanor. Rich Baird, one of the governor's dearest friends who acted as his so-called transformation manager. He's facing felonies, including extortion, for how prosecutors say he tried to manage the Flint crisis once it hit. He's also facing felony misconduct in public office, perjury, and obstruction of justice. Pure and simple, this case is about justice, truth, accountability, poison children, lost lives, shattered families that are still not whole, and simply giving a damn about all of humanity. The rest of those charged include two Flint emergency managers, the former Flint DPW director, the governor's communications director, and a current MDHHS manager. Back here live, this is the second attempt at criminal prosecution by a second AG now going on seven years. And clearly, government at every level, whether it was city, county, state, or federal, failed the people of Flint. But so far, criminal convictions have proved to be elusive. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. And so many of them here to watch as the governor will be back in court uh, early this next week. All right, Mara.